Yeah, wait, did you have something? Yeah, it seems like when I'm in that mode, like when I want to procrastinate, it's, um, or when I do procrastinate, it's like I see it as my freedom being taken away from me. Uh -huh. And I really value freedom. No. You don't value freedom. You value, you value being able to do what you want. <clears throat> That's different. People confuse that, see? I get to do what I want when I want kind of deal. That's what I consider freedom. I know. <laughs> I know. Most people don't know what freedom is. <clears throat> so, in, in any case, pride. Now, whenever you make a commitment to anything, for example, you know, as I've said, you immediately have given your life, your energy, your time to something, to some, something happening, some project, something. <clears throat> and a lot of times people don't like that. They don't like giving their word. Most of the time people give their word just as a social nicety, and then they don't follow up. You know, they don't take it seriously, and that creates a very, you know, the word is valueless then. See, but they do it because they don't want to be burdened by their word. See, if I give my word to you, now I'm burdened by my word. See, my life is now attached to that. <clears throat> you know, so I, either I ignore that, see, or, <clears throat> you know, I break my word, or uh, I don't. See, but there is always that, see. I, I don't have the freedom now. I can't do what I want, mm -hmm. when I want to do it. Because mm -hmm. now, God damn it, mm -hmm. I said I would be there at this time or something. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you don't have to give your word. You don't have to give your word to yourself. You don't have to give your word to anybody else. I'm accepting here. <laughs> see, but you don't have to give your word. You could just not give your word and uh, be free. That means, however, <clears throat> there are consequences. You can only live your life in relationship to that domain where you get to do what you want, but you can't do anything else. You can't do anything that <clears throat> requires discipline, cooperation, see, keeping your word, etc., commitment, the, all that whole domain. And there's huge amounts of things. As a matter of fact, I would say, I would haz hazard to guess there has nothing in humanity, throughout humanity, of any consequence that has been created by people who can't keep their word or commit or enter into partnership, et cetera, et cetera. See? The people, all the people that, you know, treasured freedom, so-called, that much, never got anything done. Mm. So what, what would you say the distinction between freedom and doing what you want when you want to do this. Yeah, sure. See, freedom is to be, being able to do something or not do something, see? And to actually freely make a choice <clears throat> to do something or not doing something. When you have to follow your whims, you're not free. You're bound to your whims, you see? Mm -hmm. I'm bound to my impulses. I'm bound to what I want, what I want, you see, or what I need. Thank God. That's not freedom. You're still bound, see? It's just because it's you and it seems like it's like what I want, what I need, it seems like I'm free. Mm -hmm. You know, like the, the, I don't know if this fits, but you know, like the sirens who lured the sailors to their deaths with their beautiful song, seemed like it was a good thing at the time, right? Seemed like they really liked it, you see, and they were gonna have a good time. But they didn't. Again, I don't know if that fits here or not, but you know, you know what I'm See, like it seems like I'm getting what I want. So if but I'm, if you study it, you might notice that it's actually not satisfying. I kind of get that. Yeah. But, but it's still very real. Like the impulse to do stuff is still there. It's, it's not just, you know, going away just because I realize it. Yeah. So what would you say in, in order for anyone to generate such a, say, platform? Where, Make where? a choice. Try to create some real freedom, mm -hmm. you know? And like I say, discipline is being able to take on anything that doesn't just fall on your ass. 
You see, to be able to take on something that doesn't befall you. What, it, what befalls you is everything you're talking about. That befalls you. In other words, that happens automatically, right? You don't have to do anything for that. I have this desire. I have the, you don't know where it comes from or why it comes, but hey, see, it just falls on you already. It already happens. It's easy. <clears throat> you want to do something other than that? That's discipline. See, and don't confuse discipline with burden, you see, or, <laughs> or, you know, all the other things that we conclude, you know, discipline. it's just like, no, doing something that, okay, that doesn't, you know, I'm not going to be a master martial artist by doing what I feel like doing when I feel like doing it. It's just not going to happen. That's a discipline. Do I want to do it? Yeah! Say, you know, same thing. See, so the discipline is not painful, but I know I have to do that. I mean, sometimes it was painful. But you know, say, I have to do that in order to accomplish what I want to accomplish. Yeah. Yeah. I want to I change the planet. Okay, I have to cooperate with a bunch of people and make commitments with a bunch of people and create action yeah, mm -hmm. and agreements and stuff like that and put it into action and boom. Is that you know, contrary to my, what I call freedom? Yeah, sure. But I get to change the planet, say and I, I feel good about that or whatever, you know, so I want to do that. But it requires, you see, entering in different kinds of relationship. I want to go to war and have an army behind me. Do I get to do what I want when I want? No, not at all. I mean, not at all. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I can, you know, conquer other countries. Ha <laughs> ha. I mean, if that you know, blows your skirt up, right? You know, that's what you want. Or I can defend my country. That sounds better, right? I can defend my country from the bad guys. You see, okay, yeah. You know, but I don't get to do what I want to do when I want to do it. Anyway, I'm just saying, see, there's whole domains. See, I want to create a business, ta-da, okay. You know, I want to, you know, whatever it is, see, there are whole domains. I want to become an artist, you know, I'm gonna, I want to become enlightened, you know. Yeah. See, there's whole domains. You cannot enter with that disposition. So, you know, if you have the disposition, okay, and then you do, so, okay, good. Okay, there's, there's, let's just say, for the sake of argument at this point, there's uh, two worlds. There's that one and there's the other one, okay? See, the other one that is, you know, not that, not answering to your whims and stuff like that, but creating something other than that, you see? Mm -hmm. That sometimes fly in the face of your, your whims, mm -hmm. you see? And so, okay, there's that in which I get this, okay? And there's this other one in which I get that. See, I can do shit in the other one. I can create things. I can master things. I can, uh, you know, mm. see, there's a whole domains that I can create. I can create a business if I want. I could do all these things. But that's not this. That's not this. This is surfing. <laughs> and sometimes you want to surf. Mm -hmm. See? You don't have to always, you know, in business you go surfing every once in a while. Hi, I'm Brendan Lee, and I've been studying with Peter Rollison for 20 years. I really want you to know that no matter how many videos you watch or books you read, it pales in comparison to the power of the live workshops that we host here at the center or on Zoom. If you want to get serious and do work that makes a real difference, please check the links in the description to learn more. Thank you. <laughs>